But um, it came across to me that she didn't mention her when she saw her on a live. I think when Kashawn came in town, like it was hanging out with the family and she had some things to say um, about them putting stuff in her head or whatever. She was going to clear the air with London when she got older, but she can never come around my daughter. Like she, she knows what she did. Everyone knows what she did. You know what I mean? And so, um, so it was her doing, not someone else. No, it was her doing. So, um, you know, they have oh, it was. I don't have any sisters and brothers, so you know, of course, my daughter always had a relationship with most of her aunts. They would get a babysitter, you know, keep her at the time. Um, and I know as Nika, this China thing or whatever you want to call her, um, she did used to get her a lot, you know. Um, and I knew that she had eight children, and she had all these stories about why she didn't have custody of me. I had her when I was young, and blah blah blah, and all this stuff like that. Um, so for a while, like, she was a good aunt. She would get her, um, you know, she would take her places and stuff like that. And everything was fine, you know what I mean? Um, until one day, um, I got a call from a friend of mine. He was an NBA. And he said, hey, um, where is London? And I said, she was like, oh, wow. He's like, well, what does she look like? Tattoos, short, chinky eyes? I was like, yeah. She was like, well, she's an NBA telling people that um, she's about to get custody of her. Wait, wait. You get a phone call saying China is trying to get custody of your daughter. And what's your next move? So... I ended up calling her, and I was like, hey, you know, what's up? Where are you? She was like, I'm just leaving NBA, trying to put tags in my car, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, well, I'm you know, come pick up London, and we got something to do. And that's when I went to go pick up London. Never said anything about it. And I picked her up. Um, so from then on, I told her dad, like, you know, what had happened. And um, the stuff that she was saying, um, he said something to her. Of course, she denied it, but it wasn't a lie. You know what I mean? And so um, Chastity ended up having her one day she was at the mom's house she was with her mom right chastity had to go visit her po i believe and so she dropped london off at the mother to like keep her for a few hours um the next thing i know i get a call from miss charl and she was like hey you know nika came and picked her up she's gonna meet you i was like nika cannot be around my daughter why does she have her she's like you didn't say she can come get her. i was like hell no i did not so i'm calling nika's phone blowing her up she's like you lost custody of her. I'm going to get custody of her. You abused this child. to send all this stuff. And I'm like, this lady is crazy. What is she talking about? Like, I'm literally at work. Like, she's with her aunt. You know what I mean? So, to make a long story short, I called a bunch of, because at the time, the family was living, like, out of Rundle County, in Arundel County. I called the Arundel County Hospital, like, all surrounding hospitals trying to locate her. Didn't locate her. Finally, university called me while I was calling around. And, and the nurse said, um, are you London's mom? And I said, yeah. She said, how soon can you get here? And I was like, I'm on my way. By the time I got there, Nika was gone. And at the time, it was her and Linda. When I got into the room, my daughter was sitting on the bed with pajamas on.